everyone, this is Ink, and I would like to create a tutorial how to trade in Elite Dangerous without using any external trading tools, using only provided uh, trade map from within the game and make a profit regardless of where you are currently docked. In this tutorial I will uh, focus uh, explicitly on exporting, meaning how to buy a goods in a station where you are currently and sell it somewhere else in some other system and of course make a profit. With this tutorial I will uh, teach you how to uh, make profit regardless where you are and uh, be able to pick any destination and still earn profit by trading. In this tutorial I will not focus on any details how to navigate uh, galaxy map or explain the features of it I will focus only on how to use it and how to make profit most of people find a uh, trade map uh, a little bit overwhelming and confusing and it is for a reason now when we start the map this is our 55 current 55 stars bubble and th these are my trade uh, trading nodes in my current uh, spaceship Cobra. So, trade map is if we go look here in view and select like this in this map button, and we see all these nice colors moving from one star to another. Now, if any player tried to figure out what is this uh, uh, he will not the information provided here looks pretty and but it's overwhelming and doesn't help us at all this is the first mistake that any uh, player can make is to try to figure out how to use this when it on its default default setting uh, there are many reasons and I will start uh, this tutorial by explaining how to do the proper way. So the proper way is not to go directly into trade map. Instead, the proper way is to go to starport services and then to inspect commodities market. After all, we are in the role of a trader or a merchant. What is important to know is to inspect carefully uh, this uh, table that we have here. Of course we have uh, goods and their names. We have value, we have sell value and buy value. And this is in reference to us. And for example, if we look here under group uh, consumer items, consumer technology, we have sell value of 6,686 and buy value of 6,763. This means that we as a player will buy this commodity at this higher price. And if we want to sell it back to the station, we will sell it under this lower price. So we will have loss. The cargo column will display any cargo of the, any current commodity that you have. Uh, this is only if you have a uh, legal goods it will show up here any illegal goods will not be even shown in this table now these two next columns are very very important demand and supply demand I will not focus in this video this I will call for purpose export video I will uh, focus on this in next video in this video we will focus mainly on supply column. Supply means this station has this much of particular uh, commodity. Uh, there are none, low, medium and high. What we want is something to buy from here but if the supply is low that is not our preferable commodity to trade with. The reason is simple the next column galactic average this is also a very important column for us if we want to use trade map properly 
And what we need to uh, consider is difference between uh, galactic average price, which is in this case 7061, and uh, local price that we are buying at 6763. With this, uh, we can, if we want to trade this particular commodity item, we will usually uh, count on uh, profits of 300 credits, approximately 300 credits, because this is approximately the difference between uh, current local price and galactic average. However, those systems that import this particular commodity, they will probably, probably have a higher price than galactic average. So everything that is above galactic average is only our extra profit. So you should not get uh, your hands on the first commodity that you find and the overall price of the commodity is irrelevant even though this commodity is 6700 uh, uh, credits the difference between galactic average and uh, local price suggests that we will have profit of only 300 credits so we should inspect all possibilities that we have here in uh, their offering. For example, I found here advanced catalyzers and their price, local price is 2497 while galactic average is 3012. This means that I will count on a po uh, approximately 500 credits. And the, the commodity price is much cheaper than previous consumer technology which we expect less profit from it even though the, the, the price per ton is higher so I think I will for this trade I will go with advanced catalyzers and maybe maybe resonator separators but the difference is only approximately 300 credits so maybe not that much of a profit in any case now I will focus on the group these both uh, advanced catalyzers and resonating separators are under technology group each commodity has its own group which we will find on trading map and that is important we will currently focus on technology and advanced catalyzers so I'll exit here now and I will open galaxy map so here we are again in here we will ignore allegiance and go into the trade section of this map by default we have all those categories here and every category has its own color however weapons machinery consumer items as well as narcotics and medicines have two similar color anyway for our purpose we don't need them all so I will unselect each and every one and leave only technology now we can see in what direction technology is being exported. Uh, the movement of the trade route says that from this uh, star system, as well as Primes, technology is being exported to Aulis, for example. As well, in the background, we see the other trade routes. Well, well does that mean that we will uh, advance catalyzer export to Aulis? Maybe. And this is very well maybe. Why? Because if I expand technology, we can see that under this technology category we still have selected all other commodities. And this is not to our benefit. Because not every system import every, uh, every commodity from technology uh, category. So 
what we need to is to unselect all others that we are not interested so I will unselect all others as you can see as I unselect trade routes change on the map and now what we see is the trade map where only advanced catalyzers are exported so whenever I go I will make a profit by selling advanced catalyzers and this is the basic principle how to do things now when I started this there was a blue line that saying that from Isolus Prime to Olis there will be an export now that I've uh, filtered and show only advanced catalyzers we see that we will not make a profit in Aulis instead we will make a profit much closer to the Han so I will select the Han for this purpose I will go back to commodities market and I will fill my cargo with advanced catalyzers and I will fill a whole cargo with it Warning, cargo hold at maximum capacity I'll request launch and I will go there I, For the purpose of this video I don't need to show you my powerful skills from here to there so I will either cut it or uh, fast forward to it Ship released. Engines engaged. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. Okay, so we arrived at the Han Gateway. And let us see uh, how much profit we can earn or loss by trusting to the trade map we saw earlier. So... It is my habit that first I get into the fuel and munitions and fill those. It is highly advisable to first check on bottom board if they are offering even higher price than commodity market. But for the purpose of this tutorial I will go directly in commodities market and see how much they will give me. Okay, so here we are. This is the cargo column, and we see that I have 36 tons. 30, 36 tons. Galactic average that we expected to sell at was 3,012 credits, but instead they will buy it from us at this price, 3,170 credits. So we can sell advanced catalyzers at price of. 3170 credits so if I click sell it gives me profit of 674 credits per one ton of my cargo of course I will sell everything so now that we are here so most of the players think of it oh maybe I should go back and sell something from here to the previous uh, station well you can but that is not necessary what we just saw in this tutorial is the basics how to use uh, galaxy map however you don't have to go back to the station you came from instead you can move elsewhere and all you have to do is follow the same principle look at the supply column and try to find the commodity that is at high demand here is titanium bio waste too low price aluminium it's medium what is important here that titanium 
has a price of 663, galactic average 1078, approximately 400 credits profit that I think I can get. This is too low. Explosives, I'm not sure if this is legal and the price is not something that I like. So I will try to find where I can sell titanium from this station. What is also important when we are looking at um, galaxy map that we need to pay attention to what type of the system this is. And the Han is a refinery. Obviously they are refining a, uh, metals such as titanium. However, we have we came from Ausilus Primes. Their economy type is high tech. And what we sell, what we sold here, was actually high tech. So that also makes sense. Technology. And we had a good profit, advanced catalyzer. We had a good profit from the Han, but the Han sells titanium for a good price so I will keep this route to remember and I want to make a circular route to go from here to here from here somewhere else and maybe some another star and then close the route and I will have a trading route closed so I will do this to the rest of the tutorial this is basic exporting so I am here at the Han and I want to export titanium. So I will check metals, but I will start unselecting all metals that I am not interested in and leave only titanium. Okay, so what we can see here is that Assel's Primus don't need titanium. They, we will not make a profit. However, Ibotis has high need for titanium. They want to import it and we want to export it from the Han. However, with Cobra, I cannot jump there. However, I can jump from the Han to Ocelos Primus, from there to Iranin, and from there to Ibotis. Should I? Of course. Why shouldn't I? After all, all that is matter is my profit. I will jump from the Han to Asylus Primes immediately. I will not dock there. Immediately I will ju jump to Iranin. I will not dock there either. And I will jump to Ibotis to sell titanium from the Han. One thing that is also, also very important. The farther destination is, the bigger chance is that our price will be higher so that we will actually earn more profit as farther we travel. So, I will buy titanium. I will kill my entire cargo. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. What is happening there? Anyways, I will select Asus Primus as my destination and I will go there. I will cut the video, you don't need to uh, waste time watching me flying to Ibotis, but that is our destination. Ship released, engines engaged.
drive charging. charging. successful. Engines disengaged. Okay, so we are at the Chango Dog. I put this system. So, we had a few jumps and as we can see my fuel tank dropped to 43% and reservoir to 88%. So, let's see how that much will cost us. And it says 93 credits. That is nothing. So now let's see what profit grant us the training map. So we expected to sell this at a galactic average uh, 1078 credits. Instead, they are only slightly higher. Have, uh, price for this commodity but it is what we actually expected so our profit here is oops, 437 credits per ton which is okay total 15,732 now this is okay part of the route uh, now what, what I can do here is uh, consider to close the path and make a circular route between stars which will be the best possible way to earn uh, credits what I mean by that is following I went from Ocelus Primes and this uh, blue line, cyan line, telling me that I can export uh, advanced catalyzers and make a profit from Ocelus Primes to Dahan, and that I can actually um, go from Dahan to Ibutis to export titanium and have okay profit. However, I see that. Aulin also is a high-tech world and also sells uh, advanced catalyzers so I can actually go differently I can go from Ibutis to Aulin buy catalyzers and go back which is a little bit longer trip but okay this is possibility or I can try to find if there is a commodity in Ibutis that I can sell directly to Ocelus Primes or I built this to Iranian and from Iranian to Assos Primus some uh, commodity. Now I built this is industrial world. They have uh, probably some sort of a machines. Iranian is agriculture. Agriculture. So what I can expect is for my built this to sell uh, uh, crop harvesters to there, 
and if Iran is okay, currently there is some situation and their market might be collapsed. So this is actually very risky now regarding the trade. They could actually sell any any type of food back to, back to Oslo's Primus. What I can do here is speculate just by just by uh, working with trade map. So let's try it out. I will go to machinery and okay. I filtered only crop harvesters. Industrial worlds usually have production of, of at least some of these from here in a machinery category. And we see that it does sell good to Iranian. However, I can also export it in the other side. Oh, and this is this is interesting situation. Even though there is no trade route between Ibutis to Opala, because I filtered crop harvesters, we see that uh, crop harvesters are being exported from Ovid to Opala. This means that I can actually go from Ibutis to Opala as well. Even though this line does not exist, I can go. I don't know if this is a technical feature where uh, we can have only four export lines per category or per system, I don't know, but it doesn't matter. What trade map tells me is that Opala is importing uh, crop harvesters so I can go there. But for the purpose I want to close, for the purpose of this tutorial I want to close the, the, the trading route that I want to make and that is selling from Ibutis to Iranin to Asalus Primes to the Han and back to Ibutis. So I know that I will sell crop harvesters just by looking at a trade map. They're agriculture, agriculture. So what I need now is foods. And there are a bit more commodities in there. I will select it and I see that from Iranin to Oslo's Primes there is a green line that says they are exporting. But what? So I will start filtering. I will actually uncheck all of them and start with Alga. Um, I think they are they have a low price anyway. So I can sell animal meat to from Iran into Assel's Prime. Coffee. Fruit and vegetables. Grain. I think that grain has pretty low price, so I will not count too much on that. And tea. So my focus is on coffee, usually have a good price. Animal meat, coffee and tea. So those are three commodities that I'm counting on to export from Iranian to Ossos Primes. And now I have route, closed route. I know that I will from Ossos Prime sell to the Han advanced catalyzers, from the Han to Ibutis titanium, from Ibutis to Iranian I will sell uh, crop harvesters and from uh, Iranian to Ossos uh, Primus I will sell at least some of these three. So let's put this to practice. I will go to the starport services. Come on, this is market. And I will find machinery, crop harvesters. They have a low uh, they have a low supply as you can see here. But that is not a problem for us. What is interesting they are selling it at 1792 while galactic average is 2323 so that is a nice profit so I will uh, fill my cargo with it oh they're actually out of supply now that is very very unfortunate so I have 
14. 14 tons and I have 36 tons of, of cargo. So, what I can do is uh, go with this or maybe maybe I will uh, trade with these uh, basic medicines. So I'll go back to the map. It doesn't matter. It is low profit, I know. What is important, it is a profit. So I will go there. Uncheck everything and leave on the basic medicines. Uh, machinery makes me a problem to see properly as well as food. And yes, we see that the uh, green line for medicines goes to Iranian. So I will, I will sell medicine there. I will turn on a machinery just as a reminder. It's a little bit starting to be confusing, but what is important is that I can sell from medicines category basic medicines to Iranian. In fact, I can skip Iranian and sell medicines directly to SLS Primes. It's up to me. So, if I can jump to Iran and sell all those 14 crop harvesters, and if I don't like the price that I find there with uh, basic medicines, I can just continue to ask those primes and sell there. It does not make a problem at all. So, let me buy some medicines. I can expect to have a profit of 150 per ton for medicine. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. at the price of 2,323 instead they will actually allow us to sell 2,589 so we will earn 797 credits per ton of crop harvesters which is good profit even though the commodity price itself is very very low approximately 2,000 credits we as merchant, we uh, we gain 797 credits per ton. So this is actually very very good, uh, very good uh, place to start doing inverted usage of uh, galaxy map, galaxy trading map for import. But I will not uh, pollute this tutorial with uh, too many info about that. For this info, I will use only export technique. So that was a ni nice profit with crop harvesters. And what we said, we we said basic medicines. Now uh, we, we know that um, I put this uh, at it at a price of 100 something, and we expected to sell it for. 304 credits but they are on high demand and they will buy it at 685 that is a nice profit 519 credits per ton of basic medicine so this is really good profit this trade run even though it didn't turn out exactly as we planned to sell only crop harvesters selling basic medicines that were very very cheap at high bodies turns out they are very expensive at running so that was nice profit completely nice profit now we said that we want to export from here tea coffee and animal meat as we can see the market is completely empty here almost, almost completely empty and that is a problem 
that is a complete problem. So maybe due to the situation, maybe uh, players took too much. This is the worst uh, scenario now that we we have here. We have a market, and for this kind of market that is almost collapsed, we have a uh, low supply of mineral oil, and we have low supply of leather and natural fabrics. Let's see where this is being exported. I will uncheck here uh, food. Oh, it's unchecked. Okay, textiles. So, the goal is to connect Ivan to Oslo's Primus. They don't need natural fabrics. They don't. They don't need leather. And. Um, do they need a mineral oil? Guess what? They don't. The Han needs it. So we have a choice again. Are we going to go to export this mineral oil to the Han? Or we are going to just simply jump to Oslo's Primes because Iranian has a uh, collapsed market? and so uh, commodity uh, what's the word advanced catalyzer yeah advanced catalyzer to the hub knowing that mineral oil has a low price we can jump from Iran into Oslo's primes keep medicines as export from my booties to Oslo's primes and then to the Han. and this is pretty much it system and so on. I hope this video was informative for you and I hope it, it will help you to earn a lot of credits. Situations like this can happen so you, you should expect it. Everything is a risk. You can be uh, interdicted and be attacked by a pirate. Uh, but all in all now this is the basic tutorial how to export the merchandise from the system where you are currently to some other system where they actually need particular merchandise. The situation becomes more easier when you have for example a type uh, 6 uh, that has quite big uh, jump range and you can uh, sell even more.